fellow super traders and welcome to today's New York session news flash. During this session, we will summarize the Asian market trading session results, go over European markets recent movements. We will get ready for the upcoming New York market session, look at the hottest assets in the market and we will list today key economic events. Let's begin. Starting with the Asian markets, this morning we learned that Chinese quarterly GDP prints came in as expected and lower than the previous quarter, which indicates that the Chinese economy is growing at its lowest rate in six years. This news, combined with Chinese yearly industrial production prints that showed a decline, are causing the Asian stocks to depreciate. Nikkei 225 futures are currently down 15 points to 19,920, while Japanese yen futures are consolidating at 0.8377. New Zealand and Australia both had optimistic business confidence prints on Monday, but Australian Westpac consumer sentiment prints came in lower than the previous month. This is causing the Australian dollar to fall, currently down 0.41% to 0.7574. The New Zealand dollar is down 0.28% to 0.7573. Moving on to the European market, European stocks are showing some strength today ahead of the European Central Bank President Mara Draghi press conference that is scheduled for later today following the European Central Bank interest rate decision. The Eurostox 50 is currently up 26.54 points to 3811.07. EU futures are declining today, currently down 0.67% to 1.0597. Following yesterday mixed data coming out of Great Britain, British pounds of futures are depreciating today. Sterling futures are currently down 0.28% to 1.4731. Just before the US market opens, here is a US market update. US core retail sales, retail sales and PPI prints from March all came in worse than economists expected. US stocks are slightly up today and the US dollar is rebounding from yesterday losses. S&P 500 futures are currently up by 5.50 points to 2,096.50. Greenback futures are up 0.50% to 99.43. Ahead of important Canadian manufacturing sales prints that are due out later today, the Canadian dollar is down 0.34% to 0.7973. Today's commodities highlights. Crude oil output from the US continues to decline, while its futures are up for a fourth consecutive day gaining 1.09% to $53.87 per barrel. Gold futures are down by 0.08% to 1,191.60. Here are today's key economic events. At 11.45 a.m. GMT time, the European Central Bank will decide its official interest rate and is expected to maintain it at the current level of 0.05%. At 12.30 p.m., the ECB will hold a press conference and Canadian monthly manufacturing sales prints will be released. At 2 p.m., the Bank of Canada will release its decision of if they will hold interest rate at the current level of 0.75% or not. There will also be a Bank of Canada monitor report and statement at the same hour, which will be followed by the Canadian Central Bank press conference at 3.15 p.m. And tentative for today, is New Zealand's GDT price index prints, which came in much lower than expected last month. This was Super Trader TV's New York Session News Flash, taking a short break. When we come back, we will talk about today's upcoming events and trading opportunities. Stay with us.